The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. We continue on the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, uh, so many games this season have been defined by offense, but this one was a defensive slugfest. Uh, both teams shoot worse than 40% from the field. What gave Wingate what essentially was a five-point edge in the end? Five, oh, okay. You're, 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 you're taking I'm, away can, Zach's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was confused. Um, I mean, if you look at the numbers defensively, I mean, um, I don't know whether both teams were really good defensively or both teams were really bad offensively. You know what I'm saying? Because the numbers are so crazy. But we shoot 39% in the field. They shoot 38.7. Uh, uh, you know, I, you got to give credit to them. Uh, we knew it was going to be very, very tough. Um, they had had uh, some adversity, internal uh, things going on the first semester. Uh, but they got that ironed out. They came back the second semester and, and, and obviously it started off 3-0 the second semester and uh, have, got, have, got, have got great veteran performers, guys that have just proven it. And, um, and, and I think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day, what you really saw today was a, a veteran squad come on the road in a very tough conference and, and, and outperform uh, the, the, the home team, pure and simple. You know, and I, and I, give, I give them credit. I think Brian uh, is, is as good as anybody anywhere at what he does. And I think when you get when you get a bunch of guys, what do they got? Uh, five uh, seniors. Yeah, I mean, you know, and they come in here, uh, and, and those five seniors play a lot. Uh, you know, they they've been in these kind of battles, and they know how to finish them out. And right now, we're still very much in the process of learning how to do that. And um, it it just is what it is right now. How much did rebounding play a factor? They out rebounded you forty four thirty seven just the second time this season you've been out rebounded. Well, I mean, they, they had a, a, a basically in conference play almost a ten a ten rebound margin. Uh, both of our teams have been good rebounding yeah. teams, uh, but we felt like, uh, truth matters, we felt like that we needed to, to press the second half, which we did. We needed to uh, uh, zone up the second half, which we did. But there's a, there's a direct correlation between the number of possessions you play zone and the number of offensive rebounds you allow. And so, you know, the first half it wasn't like that. We, we played exclusively man the first half. So the, the rebounding was not as uh, – the offensive rebound, I should say, was not as apparent. Uh, but, but, but that scheme also allowed us to – to, to slow down uh, on some level their scoring punch, and it provided opportunities for us to get in transition. And so it was sort of, uh, yeah. t you know, two-edged sword kind of thing. So um, uh, we, 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 we had to change it up. I did not like where, how it was going the first half. We changed it up and, and it made it interesting at least. Uh, Charles Clark goes down with an injury. Yeah. Uh, about nine minutes or so left in the second half. You're, you're – Making a push there, I think had it tied when he uh, tied or yeah yeah when he got hurt. How much uh, did his absence? He did come back with about three minutes to play, but how much did his absence affect things? Well, let's yeah, you know, let's just call it like it is. Charles Clark is one of the best players in this conference, and uh, he's been a guy that, that 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 produces and performs at a very very high level. And um, you know, he, we need him on the floor. Obviously, we told the guys after the game. You know, despite the fact that that, that happened with Charles. Um, I still thought that we could we could finish strong and and, 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 and come away with a, with a with a uh, per, with a win, you know. But um, it, that just that didn't happen. And, and I guess there's a good thing about it, you know. It allows some other guys a chance in a, in, a, in a tough situation mm -hmm. to get to get reps and get an opportunity. Uh, Sawyer Williams, 20 points, 11 rebounds. Malik Abraham has 18, but not as efficient as he yeah. normally is. Yeah. Uh, what is it about Wingate's defense that causes inefficiencies in guys who normally fill it in pretty? At a pretty good clip. Well, they, uh, their identity is tied to their defense. It has been the entire time Brian's been there, and so um, that's just it's 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 in their blood. And uh, they do a great job of, of defending the drive and defending the three. And uh, you know, Malik's Malik's a guy that that has made some big shots for us in his in his short career here, and he's a guy that has um, that we've given a lot of uh, freedom to, to take shots. We want him to take shots, and um, you know, today. You know, he he did he didn't shoot the ball from the field as, as well as, as as he as he had hoped as we had hoped, but that doesn't take away uh, doesn't doesn't impact um, the confidence we have in him, and it won't impact his confidence. Uh, today, just um, he's a sophomore um, and um, first year player here, uh, and, and and today he ran up against uh, a veteran team that, that that made life tough on him, and he'll he'll learn from that, and he'll get better because of it. Where do you go from here with back to back road games coming up at Brevard and Coker? Well, you know, anytime you go on uh, on the road, it's it's a challenge. Um, Bre Brevard, um, very unique style, um, uh, really, really 
different kind of matchup zone and, and really efficient offense. Uh, and and then you go down to uh, to Coker on Saturday, uh, and and they they are a you know play 10, 12 guys, press 40 minutes, fast paced, make life tough for you. Really want to to, to turn, turn you over and. Uh, so we, we've got contrasting styles this week. Uh, we, we'll, we'll have to, to, to do a great job preparing and then go, go there and, and play, play solid, confident basketball, and hopefully we perform well enough to get a win. Chuck, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Wednesday at Boschmer, Jim. Thanks, Kev. That's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson.